is something called turkesterone. 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 What is turkesterone? Turkesterone first came to my attention during 2021 when a man with well-developed shoulders explained why he's going on a compound called turkesterone. Said to be completely natural with no negative side effects, which should help me gain strength and muscle mass. I was extremely intrigued, but experts explained Turk is an ectosteroid, which is the insect and plant equivalent of our human hormones, such as testosterone or estrogen. Because its chemical structure is extremely similar, people wondered if this bug steroid would work on humans. And in a 2019 study, a group of untrained individuals took a similar ectosteroid, 20 hydroxy ectosone to see its effects on building muscle. It turns out athletes gained significant amounts of muscle in comparison to placebo groups who actually lost muscle, pushing companies to quickly develop similar products in the realm of ectosteroids. But videos by Seeker Strength exposed the agrilamine product for turkesterone for only having trace amounts of the product. And people question if this is truly a snake oil, but one of the most prominent players in the turkesterone game explaining that his product Turk Builder. What I used worked. It turns out the most prominent ingredient found in the HTLT Turk Builder was 20 hydroxy ectisone instead of turkesterone. So, does the HTLT Turk Builder still have the capacity to give you the desired effects in which the product was intended? If we ignore the elephant in the room and solely focus on the product with no external bias or affiliation to speak on subjects, will it work? Maybe, maybe not. So, for the next 60 days, I will be taking five capsules a day, scrumptious, of Greg Doucette's Turk Builder to give you a rough idea of what to expect when you try a fitness fad. Before this test begins, let's see where I'm at. My current stats after a body composition scan are 77.2 kilograms or 170 pounds at 9.4% body fat and my muscle mass is 66.4 kilograms. I wouldn't classify myself as a power lifter. However, we will be using the big three lifts to track my progression. In terms of strength, I'm about average in some lifts and slightly above average in others. I can deadlift 200 kilograms for five reps with my one rep max only being 215. In terms of my bench, and my one rep max is a sketchy 120 kilograms, in which most people wouldn't count anyways. In terms of my squat, it has a lot of work to do. I can do 150 kilograms for one and 140 for three, but we can only go up. So without further ado, let's jump on the turkey train. See you tomorrow. After the first couple of days, nothing's really changed so far. I feel good in the gym and my lifts are pretty standard, but no gains or massive changes have occurred yet. I'm feeling pretty hungry all the time and I'm eating my weight in eggy bread, which is really called French toast, but if you think about it, it's just egg and bread together, so call it egg. Anyways, I think it hit. That, that session was insane. 180 was going up like it never gone before. I'm a self-proclaimed lover of the sumo deadlift, so to pull 180 kilograms for six in the conventional stance, this was wild. Now I'm not sure if it was the placebo effect or starting the experiment, but I was improving. By the end of day 10, I loaded up 140 kilograms to see how many I could do. That gave me a two rep improvement. I'm happy. So we finally made it to day 12. Final day with the first bottle. Um, we've taken, so far, 57 capsules and we have three left. It's kind of sad, like, it's a lot of stuff, but we still got four bottles. Now, today is a big day. I haven't deadlifted heavy for, for about a week in terms of sumo deadlifts, just because my groin hasn't been feeling too good. Something I do to hype myself up for the deadlift is into the Yurikai theme from the Lord of the Rings. And there's just something about it, it's something primal. It just it unlocks this thing inside of me where I have to lift it, otherwise I'm gonna die. So let's have one, one turkesterone capsule with my pre-workout. Let's get ready to pull heavy. Today I hit a 200 for 5 on a deadlift bar with a stiff bar deadlift instead of a uh, deadlift bar, which for me is just insane. And in terms of my muscle, I feel a lot more full. And what I've noticed most, apart from the massive hunger surges, is the unholy amount of muscle endurance PRs I'm getting. I've gone over what feels like massive plateaus, which I've been stuck at for months. 
and started charging towards the powerlifting dream I've never had. So it's day 18 and um, now I'm outside today. We finally have a day without rain. The first time where I live in a while. It gives me a great opportunity to show where I'm at. Uh, with just no unnatural lighting, no pump, no anything. And yeah, hopefully it's good. First two bottles done, and I think it's working because the homie said I looked big. Jubilation, ecstasy, triumph. Call me vain, but hearing external feedback from my friends is better than any round of drinks they'll ever buy you. I rode this high straight into 150 kilogram for three attempts, a 10 kilogram PR on my three rep max. But not all good things can last forever. After three solid weeks of training, maximizing on gains and lifting extremely well, at the halfway mark, something was off. Day 31 and um, I've hit a wall. Uh, the other day I did my body density scan uh, and I measured in 8% body fat. Pleasingly, according to the scan, I'd gained 2.3 kilograms of muscle whilst losing one kilogram of body fat. My weight has gone up from 77.2 kilograms to 78.6. There is leeway in the reliability of the results. I might be a little bit more, I might be a little bit less, but I look and feel quite lean. Just shows to prove that even if you're on something like tocasterone, you're still gonna have energy issues, even if you get lean. It's still natural, it's not an anabolic feeling. I went surfing today, and for about an hour, I felt like I was gonna faint. My heart rate was racing. I felt like crap. Yeah, Turk doesn't help when you're lean. Helps you gain muscle, doesn't help you feel good. And as a result, my lifts have started to stagnate. I could barely lift 200 kilograms anymore. No magic pill or supplement is ever gonna make you feel good. It's going to be a pathway to help you achieve your goals. But if you don't have balance in your life, like social life, if you don't have balance in your uni life or school work, if you don't have balance in your training, you're not gonna get anywhere. And the fact that I have no balance at the moment and I'm exhausted and I wasn't eating enough and I was so tunnel visioned on being perfect it made me go backwards so to fix my current predicament there was only one thing to do so I refueled, attempted to gain more body fat and kept going with my daily pills underpowered and under energized I loaded up 150 kilograms for a training set then this happened gone from a 150 kilogram one rep max to making that my five rep max, which is kind of insane. Throughout the experiment, the squat has been my most successful lift in terms of improvement. I am feeling really good. I had probably the worst week last week. I was really sick and I didn't move all day for one day on a Thursday and I had to miss this workout. But just gotten back to a level where I feel good and feeling good and feeling optimal for my lifting is all I want. I don't need to be single digit body fat the whole experiment, but I just don't think it's for me. I'm okay with being really lean and I like being lean, but to the point where I have no energy to exercise, to walk around, to function, to do things I need to do in my day, that's not healthy. So finding a level, finally a balance, that's what I definitely think is perfect for me. And right now I feel like I'm at a good balance. Let's have a look how I'm looking. You need to know that you're not going on a cycle of steroids, you're not going on a cycle of stomps. 
If you think this is going to be the one-stop shop to making you an IFBB Pro, no. Uh, my goals with this two months was just to see what it could do to my body. It will help you build muscle the same way I feel like creatine will help you build muscle. But it's not going to be overnight success. Like, this isn't effective for everyone. And some people are more receptive. Do I feel like it affected me well? I'm probably about middle ground. Do I feel like it's increased things? Yes. Do I feel stronger, muscular, bigger? Yes. It's officially the final week. We've taken four bottles of this stuff so far and half of the last one, and I'm ready to max out. In terms of my bench, muscular endurance has definitely increased by far the most out of anything. I can now rep out 120 for a couple. Form is something I've always had an issue with, and that's what I'm gonna focus on this week while I'm doing my one rep maxes. So a 215 kilogram stiff bar record is good. It's a 15 kilogram PR on this kind of bar, but the same weight I pulled at the start of the experiment. So in summary, my total has gone from 485 kilograms to 515 kilograms. This is a 30 kilogram increase in two months. Nothing to parade around about, however respectable gains, which I'm very happy with. So this is day 60, the final day of tocasterone. This is the body that we have achieved. My final scan weighed me in at 79.3 kilograms, a two kilogram increase from day one. My muscle mass has stayed relatively the same since day 30, but a two kilogram increase in muscle mass from 66.3 kilograms to 68.7 is something which I can't complain about. But after refueling and getting back to a healthy weight, my body fat percentage is sitting at a nice 9.6%, a great number for me. So it happened. I didn't take Turkestrone. The Turk Builder was 20 hydroxy Ekizone. Whilst I was on Turk Builder, I was under the impression that it was Turkestrone. To say that I wasn't disappointed would be a lie. Greg, 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 you promised me the world and what I get in return 20 hydroxy Ekizone. Eh, good trade deal. However, when we look at the results, I can't complain. If we're going off data alone, it's hard to deny that I didn't improve. You can say it was the training or the nutrition, which could have massively contributed, paired with the psychological boost of the placebo effect, which caused most of the improvements. But to say if it worked, yes or no? I'll leave that up for you to decide. After this news, it is a little bit shocking and it's wavered my trust slightly, but I'm happy with the product's effects on me. Would I take Turkestrone again? The product was very pleasing to use. However, until more tests are done on it, I'm happy to wait it out. So in the future, I would consider it. So after 300 pills of HDLT Turk Builder, 53 gym sessions, and give or take 165,000 calories, that's what you should expect when you try a fitness fad.